Okay, I did it. I made my first 12 paper cartridges for a cap and ball pistol, specifically my Pieta 1860 Army. Um, that was really cool. I looked at every YouTube video on how to do it. Uh, felt like, man, it's probably something I could try, I could do. Um, I ended up with Guns of the West kit. Uh, obviously, if you spend any time on YouTube or the internet, you're probably going to end up um, deciding to buy that kit. And I have to say, I have to vouch for it. Wow, that was really cool. It makes it really easy. Very well designed. Um, Dustin's, uh, Dustin's videos on YouTube are very well done, very well thought out. Um, it was just super easy. And I just can't believe that my first 12 actually turned out I mean, they look okay. They look pretty good. I'm, I'm, I guess they'll work. We'll see. Um, I, I'm sure they'll work. Um, so we'll find out tomorrow. I'm going to take you guys out to the range, and uh, we'll try it out there. Uh, so I made I made the uh, the rounds at a 454 round ball, which this Pieta just always loves. Um, always gets a nice shaved ring and does really well. Um, I also bought from Dustin. The uh, Guns of the West All Natural Bullet Lube, which is Dustin's own mix of uh, lamb tallow and beeswax, and I went ahead and took the additional step of using that lube on the 454 round ball, and it looks really cool. I only have the lid here because, uh, well, you know, I don't have a hot plate like Dustin does and all these cool YouTubers do. I don't know. I don't have a hot plate. I haven't gotten one yet. So I ended up using my wife's stove in the kitchen and in a pan. And, and uh, well, it's still molten right now. I literally just did it. Um, so hopefully it cools and hardens and I can clean all that up before my wife sees it because she's probably not going to like that very much. Um, but anyway, it all went together really well. And I'm super stoked. I'm really excited to try it. So, uh, yeah, Guns of the West paper cartridge kit. If you've seen it on YouTube. And the other thing I got to say is... I ordered it, and then it was like in three days it was here. Dustin's in Utah. I'm in North Idaho. I just He must have got it in the mail that day that I ordered it. So I really, really appreciate it. Um, just awesome. And thank you for being so responsive to the, my, my probably my really dumb questions over email. Really helped. Um, so I really appreciate it, and I'm looking forward to trying this out. I'll take you guys with me out to my range tomorrow. Uh, it's going to be a little snowy. We're in North Idaho, but uh, we'll make it work. It'll be fun. We'll see if I can get these 12 rounds to go off. I, I'm pretty sure they'll go off with um, with my number 11 caps. Um, I may want to try them with, with some homemade caps. And I kind of have my doubts as to whether or not they're going to be hot enough to light the powder off through this, uh, through this paper. But I don't know. We'll find out. That'll be fun. Um, otherwise, I got lots of regular caps. And uh, yeah, so, so it's a 454 round ball. Loaded with 25 grains of triple seven. Um, I, I don't have any black powder. I just have triple seven. So we'll see how that works. Uh, going through a Pieta 1860 Army. Um, so yeah, Guns of the West, paper cartridge kit. Let's see how it works. I'm sure it's going to work great. And uh, Dustin, again, thank you very much for all your help. And we'll see you tomorrow out on the range. All right, well, good morning. We're out here at the range. We're going to put Guns of the West paper cartridge kit to the test through my Pieta 1860 Army. So I'm cold. Let's see how this goes. All right. So we're going to load it up. Here we go. See if I can get this in. Okay. Seated. Sure makes it a lot faster using paper cartridges no doubt there's another nice ring good another nice ring fits under the uh loading cone loading lever nicely with the round balls, no need to uh, auger out the frame like you do with a conical. There we go. 
last one. All right. Okay, so time to cap. Uh, I mentioned I was going to try homemade caps. Uh, let me see if I can make it so you can see that. And I am going to try it, but I only have one. And I didn't want to make more last night. So we're going to try. First shot's going to be with my homemade cap. So I'll go ahead and put it on there. Really curious to know if uh, this cap has enough power to go through and light off that cartridge. So we're going to go with uh, CCI number 11s. Do have to pinch them a little bit. So they fit on the nipple. We'll get that on there. And it's really cold. And I haven't dropped one yet. Okay, okay last one. Okay, we're all capped up. Let's give it a go. First shot is going to be with the uh, homemade percussion cap. So let's see. Okay, so we're all capped up. Uh, like I said, first shot is going to be with my homemade percussion cap. It's the only one I had. Um, we did, just for double safety, we did end up putting some bore butter uh, in all of the cylinders just because I don't need a chain fire. Uh, I don't need to lose my hand. So let's see how this first cartridge goes with a homemade percussion cap. I have my doubts, but let's see. Here we go. Nope. We'll give it a minute. <laughs> Let's give it a minute, just in case it's a hang fire. Okay, that didn't go. Get that out of there. All right, now we're gonna try paper cartridge with real CCI number 11s. Here we go. That worked. Very cool. All right, let's try another one. Okay, we got two more. I'm happy. Six out of six hit the steel. Six out of six went with uh, production caps, not my homemade caps. I don't think they're hot enough to get through the paper. But um, yeah, Guns of the West paper cartridge kit. Awesome. Awesome. Good job. Thank you, Dustin. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye.